gentlemen, this is a story that came out on Fox News, September 12th, 2018. Now, I did two stories about a month ago. It was a woman that died from a dog lick and a man that lost his limbs from a dog lick. Well, now we have someone that got a bacterial infection that's linked to a pet cat that they had. And this is a man from Missouri. Check this out. Oh my goodness, I'm in pain just looking at him. I have never seen nothing like that before in my life. Okay, so the man mentioned that he had been administering medication to his sick cat before it died. A Missouri man's rare bacterial infection left him with three extremely swollen lymph nodes on the right side of his face and neck, which actually trace back to his pet cat. The 68 year old who was not named in the case report published by the New England Journal of Medicine had complained of a week long fever and the gradual painful swelling of lymph nodes. When going through the patient's history, he mentioned that his pet cat had died two months prior. He said a veterinarian had diagnosed feline leukemia without laboratory testing, and he had been in charge of administering the cat's pregnosome. The man's doctor ordered a series of tests that came back positive for Francis Sella, Tularensis, Tularensis, leading to a granular Tularemia diagnosis. Tularemia is a rare transmitted from animals to humans through skin contact with infected animals, tick and deer fly bites ingestion of contaminated water, inhalation of contaminated aerosols or agricultural dust or laboratory exposure. According to the case report, domestic cats can become infected through consumption of infected prey and can transmit the bacteria to humans. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, symptoms will vary depending on the route of infection. And while it can be life-threatening, most patients will recover with antibiotics. The CDC identified six types of telaremia with glandular being described as similar to arsenal glandular without the presence of ulcers. The CDC said glandular tularemia is generally acquired through the bite of an infected tick or deer fly or from handling a sick animal and typically causes swelling of lymph nodes, uh, well, glands. Um, treatment typically lasts from 10 to 21 days and patients make a full recovery. So most patients do recover from this, from what he has. All right. So they treated him with droxycycline for four weeks and his symptoms resolve. That is scary. That is scary that your pets just handling them can do this to you. That is scary as hell. But I guess, you know, when you really think about it, he probably made out better than the people with the dog licks. You know, they lost limbs and another lost their life. He had swollen lip glands on the right side of his face, so he did recover. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video.
Woo, that is, that is, woo, I'm in pain looking at them. Peace, family.